we have some packages to open. So, first ones first, we have these. I should point out that these are both uh, from Amazon, I believe. So, we start with this, uh, this one here. As you can see, it doesn't look very big. Pretty thin, comes in its nice little packet. And I'm going to try to open it. There's usually a rip cord, isn't there? This is what scissors are for. So we're just gonna, gonna cut along the cut along the side here. Like that. So I ordered these a couple of weeks ago. Um, and some of you might know what I have ordered. Uh, because I was posting a few things on the old Reddit. Right. So let's have a look at these at this first one here. Let's look at seat, get rid of that. There you go, the Swordsman Companion by Donald McBain. This is the uh, Jared Kirby edition. Um, and I'll be doing a review comparing these two editions. So this is the one that's available on, on uh, Lulu. This is the uh, this is the Ben Kerr edition and uh, the Ben Kerr and Keith Farrell edition here. All right, and this is the as you can see Jared Kirby edition. So straight off the bat, as you can see, one is substantially thicker than the other one, all right, but they're pretty much the same size this way. So pages in this are pretty soft, pages in this feel a bit more uh, also soft but a bit more processed, so that's going to be it's going to be interesting comparing this one which is definitely more of a uh, direct transcription including all the uh, in all the spelling, uh, type font, uh, sorry, not type font, type uh, settings. Um, you know, replacing S with that little weird F symbol. Um, and then comparing it to this, which looks like it is a more modernized spelling. So they haven't kept the original spelling uh, version of it. So we'll do a big, bigger review of that later on. All right, so on to our uh, next one. This one is much, much bigger, much, much heavier, and comes in a uh, cardboard box. So let's find out what it could be. Woohoo! <laughs> Looks a bit more serious. All right. Ugh. God, doing this one hand is. God damn it. Um, now we can open it up and have a gander. So there's the, there's the receipt that we don't need. Ah, uh, holy shit. This is, uh, this is pretty big. Okay. And what could it be? Oh yeah. Old Gerard Thibault. The Academy of the Sword. This is the uh, John Michael Greer edition, or his new, his uh, new one. Um, I believe there's an older version uh, that currently goes for. Uh, you know, it's pretty much like every out of print book in Hammer. You know, they go for anywhere from hundreds of dollars all the way up to um, thousands. Like Tom's um, uh, old Tom's original. Um, Chivalry Bookshelf uh, Fabris Edition, which thankfully you no longer need to get. You can check out the other video I have of uh, my Fabris review. But uh, here we have the old Academy of the Sword by Thibaut, so the Destreza, or at least his interpretation of the Destreza. Holy shit, this is a lot of. That is. That is dense. Wow. Whew. That's a lot of stuff. Can we get the sword? 
Here's the. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty excited for this. I'm pretty excited for this because a lot of the um, a lot of the masters that I uh, I try to sort of read about and practice people like uh, uh, oh well not necessarily practice at the moment I have a broken leg but definitely the ones I was ex um, exposed to early on things like uh, Joseph Swetnam, Paolo Samata, uh, Vincenzo Saviolo, that sort of thing they are really really clearly uh, based. Um, have a basis in both Italian uh, and Spanish swordsmanship more specifically um, here we go look at that oh, that double page spread yeah that's that's what we're talking about that is that's some really high quality pictures as well anyway the um, I'm a, on a bit of a mission to sort of educate myself uh, regarding pretty much the basis of what a lot of English systems are which are Thus far, we know Palisamata is basically a condensed version of Fabris with a, a slight uh, English slash Danish twist. Of course, Fabris, as we know, taught in the old uh, Denmark. Um, and of course, we have here we have Thibaut, um, who of course taught a, his version of Destreza. And we have, you know, Caraza and Navarres, or whatever their names are, I can't pronounce them. Um, and of course, people like Vincenzo Saviolo, as Stephen Hand pointed out, oh Jesus, almost over a decade ago, in I think it was Sparta, um, Vincenzo Saviolo is clearly a fusion of both Italian principles and Distressa, which is very, very interesting. And of course, Joseph Swentham has Fabris uh, in him, very obviously has Fabris in him. Um, and then, of course, you have uh, William Cavendish, as we know, old uh, old mate David Rawlings, of course, who Spanish, uh, who's Spanishes, <laughs> who studies uh, and uh, has transcribed really William Cavendish's, uh, you know, uh, work, um, is clearly influenced by Destreza. So, um, and all of these people, so everyone from Swetnam. Um, Vincenzo Saviolo, uh, William Cavendish, you know, all these people, even Pallas Amata to, to a degree, um, all have influences of the Masters of Defence. So it's their, their weird fusion systems of both popular Italian systems, which we all know uh, Silver hated, versus, and slightly less despised <laughs> Spanish systems, uh, or Iberian systems, I should say. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that print quality. We'll be doing a fuller review of this later on. It'll, it'll definitely be interesting sort of educating myself on the uh, the two big guys, the two big bad boys, Fabris and uh, Destreza, using two of the, well, this, this is not the text, but using the, the uh, some of the big texts. So there you go, this is, uh, this is what we've uh, got in the post today. And uh, I'll be doing more full reviews of them later on, so stay tuned for that.